Once seated inside your vehicle, you're ready to use the push button ignition. To start the engine, depress the brake pedal on automatic transmission models or the clutch on manual transmission models and then push the ignition switch. Please note that pushing the ignition switch once without applying the foot brake or clutch pedal will place the vehicle in ACC mode. When the ignition switch is pushed a second time, it will change to on and a third time returns the ignition switch back to off. If the ignition is left in the ACC or on position, various systems in the vehicle can drain the battery and your vehicle may not start. Allow the engine to idle for at least 30 seconds after starting. Do not race the engine while warming it up. Drive at a moderate speed for a short distance, especially in cold weather. During cold weather, allow the engine to run for a minimum of two to three minutes before shutting it off. Starting and stopping the engine over a short period of time may make the vehicle more difficult to start. To stop the engine, move the shift selector to the P or Park position on automatic models or neutral on manual models and push the ignition switch to the off position. As a precaution, if the driver's door is open while the ignition switch is in the ACC or on position, a chime will sound. Also, a chime will sound if the ignition is in the off or lock position with the intelligent key left in your vehicle. Please make sure the ignition switch is placed in the lock position and take the intelligent key with you when leaving the vehicle. If the battery of the intelligent key is almost discharged, the guide light for the intelligent key port located on the lower left of the steering column will blink and the indicator on the dot matrix liquid crystal display will appear. In this case, inserting the intelligent key into the port allows you to start the engine. Make sure the intelligent key is placed in the correct direction. The front side faces upward and the key ring side faces the driver. To remove it, push the ignition switch to the off position and pull the intelligent key out. Note, the intelligent key port does not charge the intelligent key battery. If you see the low battery indicator in the dot matrix liquid crystal display, replace the battery as soon as possible.